Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Principal punishes Trump loving student for winning school election. Pissed off mom makes him pay. President Trump has a lot of detractors, but he also has a lot of supporters. Some of those are younger millennials. However, not a lot of media attention is given to those supporters of the administration, which is why this story should not be surprising. Mad World News reported. A Trump-hating Florida high school principal is in hot water after what he did to a senior who fairly won the election for class president with an epic Trump-like speech. Unfortunately, the high schooler's principal decided to make the boy pay for his words. After exercising his liberal agenda and crushing this kid's right to free speech, the activist principal is about to face some consequences that he never saw coming. According to WPTV5, J.P. Krause, a senior at Vero Beach High School in Vero Beach, Florida, was filmed giving a Trump-like campaign speech for senior class president. The following day, Krause won the election, but his victory was short-lived as he was disqualified and given a detention for his offensive speech. Now, Principal Sean O'Keefe and the school district are in hot water for the way they treated Krause. What's truly shocking about the punishment from the liberal school administration is that at no time did Krause use explicit language or suggest any kind of questionable behavior from the student body. I'd like to thank you all for coming here today. I'd just like to say that I'm hoping I'd be able to win your vote with free speech, Kraus began. I represent every student my opponent does not. I am all for freedom, equality, and liberty. My opponent wants to advance communist ideas into the very fabric of our government. She will expand the government so that you will not be able to do anything. She will likely create a dress code for you all. The teacher interjected, JP, I'm already doing that. The students laughed as Kraus continued. She will raise taxes to 80%. I do not want any taxes for our students. Our student body is the most, is one of the smartest in our county, Kraus said, according to Fox News. Speaking about his opponent again, Kraus said, she wants, she represents Sebastian River High School. What I want, what I propose is that we build a wall between here and Sebastian River and we make Sebastian River pay for it. The class broke into laughter as the fed up liberal teacher cut into Kraus' speech again, asking, are you done? Kraus gave his closing remarks, saying, thank you all, and I hope I win your vote tomorrow. Trump has also fumed about McCain's vote last year to kill off a bill to reform Obamacare. A six-term senator and a Vietnam veteran who was held as a prisoner of war for more than five years, McCain pushed for bipartisanship on the Hill. He ran against Bush for the Republican presidential nomination in 2000. He clinched the nomination in 2008 but was defeated in the presidential election by Obama. Both Bush and Obama will speak on Saturday, along with former Secretary of State Henry Kissinger, former Connecticut Senator Joe Lieberman. McCain's pallbearers include actor Warren Beatty and Russian dissident Vladimir Karamorza, as well as former Vice President Joe Biden and former New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg. Early Saturday, his casket traveled to the cathedral after stopping at the Vietnam Veterans Memorial, where McCain's wife Cindy laid a wreath. Defense Secretary James Mattis and White House Chief of Staff John Kelly accompanied her. On Friday colleagues, family and friends paid tribute to a service both in the military and the Congress as he lay in state underneath the Capitol Rotunda. While McCain's family was in attendance, Vice President Mike Pence said that all Americans marveled at the iron will of the late senator. He furthermore praised Senator McCain for his faith in America and over 60 years of service to his country. Shortly thereafter. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell of Kentucky made comments of his own where he articulated McCain's service to his country, generations of Americans will continue to marvel at the man who lies before us, the cocky, handsome naval aviator who barely scraped through school, and then fought for freedom in the skies, who witnessed to our highest values, even through terrible torture, and who became a generational leader in the United States Senate, where our nation airs its great debates, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, RKY, said. Officials on both the Democrat and Republican side of the aisle have poured in their condolences for Senator McCain. Just a few days ago, former Vice President Joe Biden remembered his good friend Senator McCain and characterized the both of them as cockeyed optimists while talking about him at the church service in Phoenix, Arizona. Towards the end of the eulogy, Biden maintained that Senator McCain's legacy would live in the generations to come. Once the final services have been completed on Saturday, Senator McCain will be buried at the U.S. Naval Academy one of his alma maters, placed next to Admiral Chuck Larson, Senator McCain's best friend from the class of 1958. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like.
and subscribe. Thank you.